before we set you free and kind of let you start trying out some of the mini projects from Photoshop, wanted to explain a few things to you just so that um, you're a little bit familiar with Photoshop. You'll notice it looks very much the same as Illustrator. You have a toolbar on the left. You have um, control options up top, a lot of pull down features, adjustments is a big option, image size, your filter effects. Um, an important aspect of Photoshop is your layers where you can isolate elements and um, you know have complete control over certain pieces without affecting the entire photo. So you'll use layers all of the time. Um, selections are a big part of Photoshop too. So you can select and isolate areas like for instance right here. I can copy and paste once I have a selection. So I have different selection tools here. These are selection tools. I also have selection tools here. And now I could, what I just did is I copied and pasted this area. So now that this is isolated on its own layer, I can make adjustments just to that layer. Like I could make it into a black and white. And it's only affecting that new portion. Another cool thing are layer styles. So within each layer, you can add style effects to it, like a stroke. So I could add a color to the edge of this. Okay. And you can get some cool looking um, effects in your photo. So it looks like a photo over another photo. I can go and now edit this file in the back. Let's say I wanted to blur that out. I'll go to my filter effects, try out some blurs there. And you know, you have complete control, a lot of editing features in Photoshop. Um, you'll notice there are two colors here, foreground and background color. It's not like in Illustrator where you have the stroke and the fill. You can swap these colors in and out and they'll use variously for different things. Um, your brush tool, whatever color is on top, that's what you'll be painting with. So if you have an opaque brush and you're adjusting sizes here, you can paint like you would with a paintbrush. If I switch to white, white's on top now, now it'll paint with white. And there are tons of different uh, brushes to choose from there. So, you know, there's a lot of features in Photoshop. Layers are an important thing. Another cool thing is um, Clone Stamp Tool, which I'll show you real quick. Clone Stamp Tool allows you to touch up areas on a photo or copy them. Uh, usually we use it to repair images, but like if you wanted to be funny and take this guy's head and put it on this guy's head or this girl's head and put it on this guy's head, whatever it is, um, you can clone a picture and then repaint it somewhere else. So it um, we'll get a little bit more involved in that when we restore a photograph, but it's kind of a, a neat tool to use. Like let's say I wanted to copy this ketchup bottle and I cloned it over here. Now I can go and paint it in. There's another ketchup bottle in my design. So Photoshop key things to remember, you got your toolbars here, foreground, background color, your layers will be very important and we'll use those throughout. Um, adjustments, this is where you're going to make adjustments to the way the picture looks. Um, another thing, image size, very important. We talk about pixels being um, part of Photoshop. It's a pixel based software. So your resolution is an important number. Usually for printing we want to stay at the 300 level. 300 pixels per inch. If I zoom really closely on this photo, you'll see that it's made up of little tiny squares. So the more squares, the higher the resolution, the better quality of the photo. Um, but other than that, the mini projects will get you started here and hopefully you'll start to feel a little bit more comfortable using Photoshop.